What's going on guys? Welcome back to more modded Skyrim. I managed to find all 30 of the Crimson Nurn Root and it was a pain in the butt to find them all. Um, there seems to be a finite amount of them and I don't really have much advice for finding them all. Uh, just basically search throughout the entire catacomb and eventually you'll find them all. And now we have to turn them in to... Uh, where'd you go? Oh. This person. We could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. I have Nernroot to sell. Actually, uh, I brought these Crimson Nernroot for you. You gathered quite a few of them, I see. I'll search through Cinderian's notes and find some more information about the Crimson Nernroot and its properties. Sounds good. Here you are. Thank you. You've done Alchemy a great service by helping to complete Cinderian's work. I'd like to give you this tome. It's one of Cinderian's greatest works. I believe you've more than earned it. Why, thank you. Alright, well that's work. enough here. So let's get on our next quest here, Bound Until Death. I'm going to skip up on these for now, because they're uh, mostly fetch quests. Well, this one kind of is. Let's check it out on the map. Alright, so we need to go to Solitude. Haven't really done much exploration of Solitude yet. This is a town I am not familiar with. Could probably go talk to an innkeeper and find some things to do here. Gonna snag a save. Let's go inside the Winking Skeeva first. Hello? Suits me. It's difficult and Seems there's tedious. always more to be done. Uh, who's in charge of solitude? Jarl Elisif the Fair. Poor woman. Losing her husband and king like that. It was a dark day for us all. Damn. That reminds me. I have a delivery to make to her steward, Falk Firebeard. He ordered a special bottle of Strauss Mackay rum. I can deliver that for you. Save me a lot of trouble. Here, take it to the Blue Palace. You gotta love how trusting people are in these RPGs. <laughs> you were at the execution, right? I showed up to watch, yeah. I don't know if they were right to execute him for what he did, but I'll tell you something. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. That seems rather harsh. Listen, Rogbeer and I grew up together. It was us, a few others, and Vivian. Vivian Onus. I have no idea why, but one day I told Rogbeer I liked her. It was a stupid thing to do. He mocked me incessantly after that. From that point forward, every time Vivienne and I were anywhere close to each other, he made sure to humiliate me. What a dick. Beat me up, dump meat on my head, anything he could get away with. Once he even slipped a beehive into my bed. <clears throat> we were children, sure, but Rogbeer never outgrew that immaturity or his cruelty. So any talk about him being an honorable Nord? <laughs> Pure folly. I'll keep that in mind. I was done talking. Innkeeper! Anyway. What quests have you for Skeever, me? Friend. Um, why is this palace called the Winking Skeever? Well, as it turns out, I had a pet Skeever when I was a boy, and he used to wink. I see. You kept a Skeever as a pet? They were smaller back then. Ah. Heard any rumors lately? People say there's a man wandering the streets near the Blue Palace. He seems distressed, but he's not making any sense. Ah. Any more rumors? Barnius Junius stopped by here on his way to court. He was worried about something. I'm sure Falk Firebeard could tell you what. Any more rumors? I think the Bard's College might be looking for recruits. You should speak to the head of the college, Viarmo, if you're interested. Maybe I will. Alright, any more? I've heard Jari Raz hanging around the Wells District, looking for new blood to hire. Oh, I got a lot to do in solitude. Skeever next time your foot's sore. And red stories yeah, about the hey, feel free to make requests. Does being a bard pay well? Oh, no. But 
being surrounded by good music, good drink, and good friends is all I've ever asked for. I see. Uh, what's the word around town? Generally, if you want rumors, you should talk to Corpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the Blue Palace. So you're a member of the Bard's College? Only in that I'm a graduate. I work here at the Winking Skeever. I would highly recommend it, though. Talk to Viarmo if you're interested. Uh, maybe I will. I like singing. You should think about staying the night. Corculus keeps a clean in. We can sing a jolly tune. By blade or by spell. If you want it dead, I'll make it dead. What map oh. marker? Ah. The blade can be a that was an uh, mod that I have but marks these you people on my map. Need something? People that I can hire for combat. Useful? No. Alright. Well, we got some things to do, so let's get on out of here. Let's see what we can find. place is huge. Typical imperial rot. You speak of Skyrim like you know the land. Know its people. You're from Cyrodiil. You know nothing about us. Nothing! <laughs> and when the elves marched into your beloved Cyrodiil, and everyone took up arms against them, wasn't that treason? Against the Dominion? Huh? My point exact. Hello. I still think my boy should have had a traditional Nord wedding. Outside, in the cool mountain air. Uh, having a good time? No, I'm not having a good time. My boy just married a god's forsaken imperial. Skyrim is full of eager Nord women, and he beds down with the enemy. I see. Support all Let's friends. talk to him then. This wedding is boring. <coughs> I wish they had jugglers. Having a good time? Not really. It's just a bunch of elders standing around looking important. I wish something exciting would happen. All right, I'll kill everybody. Whatever you say. Bye. Hey, man. Oh, I just they talked to you. This marriage is the first Victoria step did pretty well for herself. I'll just talk to the Jarl. Not a bad what an amazing day this has been. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed. Such kindness for me. Indeed. The storm cloaks say hello. Oh. Well, you tell your storm cloak friends hello right back at them. <laughs> this is a day of healing. Legion, storm cloaks, all are welcome here. Okay. Please enjoy the festivities. This is a day now, of peace. Now, now, fella, let's not get too close to my new bride, eh? Congratulations. Quite the day, hmm? The best. Victorious, good woman. Any man should be so lucky. I know my father is not happy about me marrying an Imperial, but that is his problem. I see. It's been good Let's check my journal. Oh yeah, I have to kill her. <laughs> should be very hard. Go ahead and equip a blade. Actually, I should probably use a bow. I need to wait for her to get somewhere secure. Waiting till nightfall may be the thing to do. Let's see where they're going. Follow them. <laughs> Good people of solitude. Are you all enjoying yourselves? Goodbye. Oh yeah! Get out of there! Who's there? Astrid ordered me to keep an eye. The bride has been murdered. Somebody help! Retreat! Yeah, nobody had a clue. I did it stealthily. Okay, never mind. Crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? I'll pay off the bounty. Smart man. Now, come on. 
Well, that wasn't too bad. Make sure they didn't steal anything important. Still got my blades and everything. As long as I've got my gear, I don't care. Good. Only a thousand gold for killing a queen. Not too bad. Probably could have done that a little better, but that's okay. So let's go back. To the Dark Brotherhood. That's where we left off before. Had a little bit of a detour. In we go! Ah, it's a quest. Well, it didn't unlock anything. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. She bled like a stuck pig. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. <laughs> Only actually made about 500 gold. Cool. Now let's go speak to Gabriella. appears to be down this way. These books for... Got a map update. I really like this mod because it, uh, it makes books that you haven't read glow. So you can tell what uh, books might be useful. Hello? Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, <clears throat> as I'm sure Astrid indicated. She did. What are the details? With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, the security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. I understand. Gaius Morrow must die. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge, and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithis. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. Yes? To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not 
pass up. I see. What will killing Gaius Morrow accomplish? Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No, we need him to remain in charge, but distracted, weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated. His family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. No, so your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule, somewhere in the Penitus Oculatus outpost. Securing that would, obviously, be most beneficial. I see. Tell me about Dragonbridge. It's a small town, with one rather unique feature. It houses Skyrim's only Penitus Oculatus outpost. It was established by Commander Morrow when he first arrived in Skyrim several months ago, when he began preparing for the Emperor's initial visit. What are the thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The Matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. All right. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow and deliver to him the judgment of Sithis. Off we go. For Sithis is my lord. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Let's go on over to Dragon Bridge. Go on in here. Stop looking at me. I'm trying to take Trust your me. stuff. We have nothing to say to one another. Trust me. We have nothing to say to one another. <clears throat> okay. Well, I got it. Nobody saw me. Let's talk to him. Keep back, citizen. I have important business I must attend to. Who's there? Hmm. I'm sorry, but I really don't have time for this. Move along. Ah, I'm being attacked. By Dawn Guard. This guy's just pop out of nowhere all the time. Take some of your stuff. Is that more Dawn Guard? Yep. Stupid Dawn Guard. For the win! Not getting away with that. Let's talk to you, you one more time. my patience, citizen. Back away. Now. Not really sure where he is going to be going. So I guess I should go ahead and take him out. Might as well. Oh yeah! Let's see, where is the incriminating letter? Here it is. Now 
we gotta get out of here. Back to the Dark Brotherhood. <clears throat> Grab a save, and in we go. That went pretty well. 